we've been working with Mike on this show for around two years and working very closely with him, which was, you know, challenging in itself. Mike is assiduous, he's demanding, um, but that's kind of why he's so interesting. to other artists like you know in 2006 he performed in relation to the Joseph Boys piece at Art Academy of New South Wales um, he previously performed in relation to Vita Conchi um, so sort of I guess these are father figures for him but Jackson Pollock is very important to Mike um, essentially Mike regards Jackson Pollock as a proto performance artist I think also interestingly Blue Poles and Mike Parr have a very interesting trajectory. When the painting was acquired by the National Gallery in 1973, Mike was emerging as an artist and that was very important for him, that acquisition, um, in terms of it was a cultural high point for Australia. It symbolised to Mike that art was worthwhile and supported and worth pursuing. Formalism is very important to Mike. He's really an artist you know, he's known as a performance artist, but he's always engaged with um, ideas you know, to do with modernism, suprematism, so this kind of spareness and elegance in the presentation of this exhibition was very important. I think it's also really important to note that this um, exhibition was conceived as an installation. Um, so it's like a complete work of art in itself, and that's something Mike often says. He says the final form of the work is the exhibition. Mike is never, he's never been an artist who paints landscapes or makes pretty pictures. He's an artist who thinks, who provokes, who's highly political, who's very contentious. And I think for those reasons alone, he's really one of Australia's you know, most important contemporary artists.